You always wondered why my videos begin with a click. Find out by watching this video. Hey guys, my name's Jan and I make new YouTube videos every Friday, but first, welcome to 2018 and welcome to this video. Today, I want to share with you what I use to record my videos and actually there's a lot that I do use. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Make sure as well to give this video a big thumbs up down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already because if you're new, it does really help to tell you when I upload a new video, which of course is every Friday, 4 p.m. UK time. There you are. So that way you get notified when I upload a new video and it can be as great as this one. So today what I want to do is share some of the equipment I use when I make videos like this. So in this video, I'm going to split it into four main parts. So what that's going to include is I'm going to talk about my camera equipment, my sound equipment, my SD cards, and finally, what editing software I use and what that all involves as well. There are some links down below, so feel free to check them out. They're all Amazon links and they'll all discuss my equipment so you can find out what I, uh, what I use and you can go and buy it yourself. I want to point out that none of this is an advertisement. This is just so that you know what I use. So if you want to make videos and things like that, then you can go and get the equipment yourself and you can have a look. There are also links down below to the different sections, the four sections I mentioned, so that you can skip to a particular part if you want to come back and reference this video. The first thing I'm going to talk about is what I use to record my videos, which is the camera equipment. And first thing I should mention is that until recently, I was using this. This is a Panasonic HDC 5 SD40. Uh, it's got 6.8 meter optical zoom. Uh, it was a really good camera. Uh, the thing is the sound has started to go on this so I thought it was a great time to go and purchase a new camera but this was what I did record majority of my stuff with and I'm still going to keep it because it's still functioning perfectly well apart from the sound. Uh, what it does, it doesn't play back on the camera, but it actually plays back fine when you put it into the computer. So I'm perfectly happy with that. But I thought what I don't want to do is go to a point where this camera actually stops working and then I don't have anything else. One of the new additions I have is this, which is an iTech camera. This is the Action Pro. It's only a cheap camera, but it does the job. It's got a screen on the back. It's also a waterproof camera. It comes with waterproof kit. And it's good if I am traveling about, this is going to be four uses, especially when I just need a small camera, pocket size camera, because this is perfect because of its size and its functionality. Quality of video is not great, but it does the job again. My third piece of camera equipment is weirdly enough, my iPod. I record a lot from my iPod, especially when I'm traveling. Uh, it isn't the best thing to use for cameras, but it does its job, so I'm happy with that. And finally, what I am recording on today, which you might have noticed there's been a slight change in the camera uh, quality. And today, I am using this new Canon EOS 1300D camera. Uh, I've got a EFS 18 to 55 zoom lens thing and this is probably the best camera I could get for the money that I paid. So now I am going to talk about some of the sound equipment that I use as well for my videos and firstly I'm going to start off with the Fifine USB desk microphone which I use because I record my sound separately to my camera because I just think it sounds better coming from a microphone. So the USB desk microphone, it's not just placed on a desk. I also use a large pop filter as well as a desktop microphone stand. Uh, the desktop microphone stand is made by Axel Electronics and it's a boom scissor arm. It's suspended, it's really good. 
and it is a LM Tech pop microphone that I use as well, which can be used for singing and things like that. And that's to remove some of the wind sounds that my microphone may produce as well. That gets rid of a lot of the popping sounds and the other wind sounds and it makes the editing process much, much, much easier. To go with the microphone when I'm out and about, instead of using a big microphone, I instead actually just use my Apple EarPods with the mic and there's a link down below if you haven't got some of these. I would like to get a new microphone that did remove the wind effect, maybe just a portable microphone but I haven't actually managed to get into this area yet. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the SD cards I use. I use SanDisk SD cards, the Ultra Micro SDHC memory card and I'll either use a 32 gigabyte or a 64 gigabyte memory card. And the reason I use SD cards, especially micro SD cards, is that you can pretty much plug them in anywhere. So I never look any lower than 32 gigabytes. 16 gigabyte is not really good enough for the amount of footage that I record. So 32, 64 gigabytes is what I look for. Finally, now it's my editing software and majority of my videos are edited on Adobe Elements. It is Premiere Elements 11, and that is because I basically had it for free. Uh, I will point out I had it for free legally. I've got a boxed edition of it, and that comes with Photoshop Elements 11 and Premiere Elements 11, and I do use both. I will use the Photoshop for thumbnails and things and I use Premiere Elements to edit the video. This does bring some challenges however because the trusty iPod does not really work with Premiere Elements very well. So as well as that I often will use Windows Movie Maker. Another software that I use and this is for my sound, it's free to download. This is probably one of the greatest things and you that you'll ever use. It's simple, but it does its job and it does its job well. And it's linked down below, if you haven't got it already, is Audacity. And I do that because my microphone records straight into there. It's easy to convert it straight across and put it into the video. You know, it works an absolute treat. Finally, I ought to talk about my tripod and the laptop that I use to record my videos and to edit my videos. So the tripod is a Velbon EF41 tripod. Afraid they don't sell them anymore. I've tried looking for them. The best I can find is the EF44 tripod. Uh, it does its job, it's simple, it's very lightweight, it's great for traveling about with. So definitely a recommendation of buying, especially if you want to do videos like mine. And finally, my laptop. My laptop, which has been a bit of a pain over the last year, is a HB Envy notebook. It is two gigabytes, two gigabytes, no, it's two terabytes of memory or hard disk space, and it's an eight gigabyte RAM laptop. Basically, I got that because of my recording stuff and because of my university stuff. It's a basic laptop, it does its job. So. Why do I click when I make a video? And that's what you've all came here for. You probably guessed by now, the reason I have the clicker is because I need to match the sound down here with the camera and the video that you're seeing. So if I use the clicker, then it works. But the thing is, I haven't brought my clicker home with me. So I am just using my fingers to click. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please make sure you refer back to it if you want to come and buy any of this equipment as well. There are links down below to link you straight to Amazon. You don't have to buy off there. And I'm just going to point out again, this is no advertisement. I've not been sponsored for this video. I am generally talking about what I use just in case that you are interested and just to basically show off this brand new camera that I'm currently talking to. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It really does help. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe by pressing that subscribe button down below. And if you're new and all, click that bell notification button 
to be notified when there is a new video, which of course is every Friday at 4 p.m. Finally, I have Twitter and Snapchat and you can follow me on there. They're just up to the side of me. And make sure you find out what I did last week by checking out last week's video at the end. There is also a recommended video which I would recommend you watching because that way you can find out what else I do on my channel. And then finally, I will see you next week with a brand new video straight back from Swansea. Goodbye for now. Why don't you click subscribe? Make sure you check out last week's video. Why not follow me on Twitter or Snapchat?